Hey, it's Tim Caps broadcaster John Nolan here with a quick update on the team. Guys are back home after a week on the road up in Wisconsin against the Brewers affiliated Timber Rattlers. It was a unique experience on the road. Their day off Memorial Day made a pit stop on the drive up there to check out that afternoon's Brewers Cubs game. Now, just so happens that Milwaukee's manager is Pat Murphy. He's the dad of Tin Caps outfielder Kai Murphy. And the Brewers had multiple Tin Caps alumni on the field as well, including left handed starting pitcher Robert Gasser, who called Parkview Field home just a couple of seasons ago. And he really shined with six scoreless innings in front of some of his former teammates and friends. Now, also, while up on the road one morning last week, the team got to take a tour of the home of the Packers, Lambeau Field. As for the action, the team just won two of three over the weekend, led by first baseman Griffin Dorshing, who led not only the team, but the entire Midwest League and OPS last week as he hit three home runs and now enters this week top 10 in the league in that power category. And speaking of league leaders, center fielder Homer Bush Jr. continues to pace the circuit in stolen bases and Murphy towards the top of the leaderboard in doubles. As for this week's matchup, while the Caps have made the drive over to central Illinois each of the last two years, it's the first time the Peoria Chiefs are at Parkview Field since 2019. This edition for Peoria currently features nine of MLB.com's top 30 St. Louis Cardinals prospects. That includes left-handed starting pitcher Quinn Matthews. He just won the Midwest League Pitcher of the Week award. And also keep an eye on left-handed starting pitcher Cooper Jerpy, 20-year-old catcher Leonardo Bernal, and 20 year old outfielder Juan Bin Cho. Now the tin caps, they're kind of like TNT. The offense has been explosive and they also know drama. Fort Wayne enters this week having played more one run games than anyone else at the high A level and tied for the most extra inning games in all of minor league baseball. So don't just stay for the fireworks. Who knows what could be in store here for some exciting finishes. The Caps have won nine of their last 11 at home and trying to keep that momentum going here against the Chiefs team that so far this season has the fewest wins in the Midwest League.